Dear Mr. President Martens, dear government and party leaders, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to speak to you on this Congress as recently elected leader of the Christian Democratic Party in the Netherlands. During this Congress, we have all pledged our commitment to a common European future. It is a, it is an, uh, a commitment we inherit to the vision of our European founding fathers decades ago, thanks to whom we have lived in peace for decades. The Nobel Peace Prize awarded to the European Union, above all, is a tribute to their achievements. And the, EE, the EPP has, from its foundation, been at the forefront of economic and political stability in Europe. It is my commitment as leader of the Christian Democrats in the Netherlands to contribute to this European path. But today, we find ourselves in the storm of a financial and economic crisis. And again, perhaps more than ever since our foundation, Europe needs vision to shape a better future for our citizens. The questions we are facing today are no less than about building a better union that is strong enough to face the challenges of the 21st century. In the context of swift economic changes in the world, Europe has to reform and to renew to stay on the path to the future. The questions of today are answered by a European policy based on vision, responsibility and of solidarity. Vision, because the decisions we have to stand for shape the future of Europe for the decades to come of responsibility, because we have to get rid of short-term politics of spending and go towards politics of sustainable finances and endurable reforms. <clears throat> and a policy of solidarity, because the problems of one member state, state are the problems of us all. For many of our citizens, Europe sometimes may seem abstract and far away, whereas we know that Europe is in the heart of every person's life in Europe every day. The manifesto adopted during this Congress paves the way for a common vision on the future of Europe by the EPP. A common future based on values that lead to an approach on the questions we face today. Our European values of a Europe that takes initiative so that we can compete on the world level, but on the other hand, respects the freedom of citizens and the responsibilities of the communities that shape Europe. So, from the values that has shaped the Europe of today, through the challenges we face during this storm of economic turndown, we can lay the foundations of a new Europe, a Europe of vision, responsibility and solidarity for the future of our citizens. Thank you very much.